Hello everyone. If you have filed or you are planning to file an affidavit of support and for a few other applications, you will need to include proof of tax filings. For years, you could do this with your actual tax filings or with a tax transcript. Uh, recently, various immigration agencies have required tax transcripts and in some instances certified tax transcripts, which is placing a much higher burden on those filing. Today I talk about a tax transcript, what a tax transcript is and how you can get one. I am Raluca Hania. I am an attorney who provides immigration, estate planning and family law, family law services to my clients. My marketing and office manager, Nina Kriya, is here with me. We really appreciate all your likes, shares, and comments as they help others to see our videos. So my first question is, can't USCIS access the IRS records themselves? No, they cannot, which we should probably be thankful for. <laughs> okay. um, then the second question would be, can you tell us when someone needs to provide proof of tax filings? Yes, there are several instances. They include applications like naturalization for citizenship, uh, consular processing. Uh, this might be for a fiance visa or green card application, as well as a few others, uh, permanent residency and removal proceedings. And why would you need them for removal proceedings? Again, we can only give very broad answers, so this isn't applicable to every situation. But sometimes an immigration judge may want proof that a person worked and paid taxes before granting relief in a hearing. And is it important that people filed and paid taxes in these situations? Very important. For all of these scenarios, the failure to file the taxes and pay taxes could cause your application to be denied. What is the difference between a tax transcript and a tax filing? A tax transcript, it's something you obtain from the IRS. And how do you get that? You can sign up on the IRS website and download one. What about a certified copy? That is something that is stamped from the IRS. Can you order that online? No, you need to go to an IRS office and request it. You can call a 1-800 number. I can give it to you right now. It's 1-800-829-1040. Or you need to submit a form, the form 4506-T. Um, be sure to let them know you need a certified copy if that is what is requested by the immigration authority or otherwise they will send you one that you can download and that is not certified. So what you're saying is you need a hard copy? Yes, for the certified copy, you need to obtain that in person or by mail. Okay, and can we break down each type? So for your naturalization or citizenship application, why is proof that you filed and paid your taxes important? Um, this shows good moral character. Do you need to send certified transcripts? USCIS now requires that you bring certified transcripts to your interview. Okay, so what about consular processing? We have been told that many consulates are now requiring tax transcripts to be downloaded with other documents for applications. Uh, we recently filed for a client um, in Romania and they did not require that, but each country can require them their own documents, even though the affidavit of support is reviewed here in the United States. Uh, but NVC, which is National Visa Center, will let you know what is required by the consulate uh, through which your relative is being processed. And what about uh, for permanent residency applications? Uh, the instructions say that you can send in your tax form or transcripts. However, the instructions also say that the officers can ask for a tax transcript and for it to be certified. And we have heard that some officers are doing this uh, now. However, having reviewed other immigration attorneys and in our experience, we haven't found a pattern to give you 
more. Um, so at this time, we can only give you a heads up that it might happen. Okay, so finally, what about in removal proceedings? Yes, with this, you can bring tax filings. However, that doesn't show that you actually file them, that they only show that you merely that you fill them out. Tax filings show that you filed um, and that you were, that they, you filed them with IRS and they were processed by the IRS. And so after conferring with your immigration attorney, the, if they think that this would help your case, I would recommend to bring the transcripts. Um, so that's all for today. Thank you to everyone who supported us by watching, sharing, liking, and commenting. It is important for everyone applying for immigration benefits to follow the laws, and one of which is to file and pay taxes that you owe. So please reach out to us with questions about your immigration case. We are always here to help. See you soon.